In this exercise, we label the uh, interface of the word window. So you have a sheet uh, with some rectangles on it, and we just need to get the right labels in here. So I'm looking at this up here. This is the quick access toolbar. And when you click here, you whatever has a check has a little icon. This is open. This is new. So it's just a fast way. For example, if I click this, I will get a new blank document just like that. That's instead of doing three clicks, file, new, blank document. So the quick access just gives you fast access to some commands. This blue bar is called the title bar. It's only the bar right across the top. If you click and you hold and you drag the title bar, you can restore down this window. Uh, so just show that over here. So go over to the right side. You can see right now this is the maximize button, the big square. And if I click this, it will take up all the screen space available. But now that it's maximized, I want you to know the alternative, which is this, which is restore down. And restore down is on the same uh, space that maximize is on. And what's the difference? You can move a window by dragging the title bar. And you can size a window by hovering your cursor on the very edge until you get the two sided arrow here, and then you can drag and pull that. The bottom corner gives you a diagonal arrow, and that way you can make it uh, skinny and you can make it long. So it works in both directions at one time. On the uh, title bar, you always have the file name. Then you have the application name. Okay, this is an important one that I want you to know. And it's uh, up here, right here. The ribbon display options. I countless number of times people lose their ribbon. See, the ribbon is gone. And sometimes it doesn't seem to want to come back. So... You need to know this one, ribbon display options. When you click it and click the third one here, uh, that will bring your ribbon back and keep it there. So uh, this is ribbon display options. Right here is collapse the ribbon. Just stay away from it again. It collapses it and then you have no ribbon. So just keep your show tabs and commands on all the time. I think we missed this one. Minimize this button here. If I click this, it will shrink this down to a little box down here on this taskbar here. This is called the taskbar, this bottom bar with the date and these icons and the start button. Okay, so minimize will take it down there. And to get it back, I can hover on Word. This is the one that I'm working on. And that's what minimize is. So we've done all these, and we've done collapse the ribbon. Right here on your handout, I have a rectangle around here. That's a group name. So just understand that the ribbon up here is divided into tabs. And the tabs have groups of commands. And so this paragraph group includes the commands in between this little dark gray line here, or light gray, and this line. So these, this is the paragraph groups of command. And if I asked you to go and click on text effects uh, and put an effect on this text right here, you'd have no idea where that is. But if I tell you it's in the font group, First thing you can do is look across the bottom at these group names and you find the font group and that has narrowed it down to this area. And there it is there, text effects. So you need to know that this is the name of a group. 
And this little icon here, this is called a launcher. And many of these commands here have launchers. And if you click a launcher, you're going to get a dialog box with your computer saying, OK, I have many commands that I'm going to offer you. You need to talk to me and tell me, what kind of indentation do you want? What kind of line spacing do you want? Uh, so a launcher always gets you a dialog box or an extra uh, pane with some options on there for you. OK, so your ribbon, divide into tabs, tabs have groups on your uh, a hard copy handout, you have this. That is your insertion point. So if I go up here and click here, you will see my insertion point flashes. And sometimes you call that the cursor. Uh, in lots of exercises, you will need to know what's called uh, the insertion point. How to turn your rulers on. Go to the view menu, put the check in here, and then you will see on my screen here, there is a vertical and a horizontal ribbon. What does the taskbar look like? It's the bar at the bottom of the desktop. It's not part of Word. It has the Start button on it. That's what the taskbar is. In the Word window, you are labeling this. That's your current page. You can see that this handout is one of two pages. You also have a word count in case you're doing an essay. You have an idea how many uh, words you've already typed. We have a scroll bar at the bottom and the right edge. Uh, but I never use that. Just use the wheel on your mouse and you can uh, scroll up or down your document. You also have a zoom slider. This is a zoom slider. It's right here. You can make your document bigger or smaller by dragging that bar. But again, if you're using this a lot, uh, what's easiest is just to press and hold your control key on your keyboard and then turn your wheel up to zoom in and scroll it and uh, pull it backwards to zoom out. So that's the zoom slider. Here's the zoom level. Right now I'm at 120. If I double click, I get this. Maybe I want to see my whole page, and I can say, OK, I will now uh, see my whole page here. You can also get that on view by clicking Zoom. That also brings you this dialog box, and you can set your level if you'd like in there. Here is the print layout. This is the view we use all the time. This is the read mode, which takes away all your commands and just lets you read documents quickly by using these arrows. So we always want to be on the print layout. And I think that's covered most everything.